All right, everyone. So, Happy New Year's Eve to you guys. I don't know when this video is going to go out. Um, but nevertheless, like I said, a Happy New Year. Uh, happy New Year's Eve to you guys. Uh, I did manage to get to Surefire today. Um, today is December 29th. Uh, I was able to get to Surefire today and get a few things. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go over those things. These are last minute additions for the new year. Uh, I will be going to a New Year's Eve party. So, the... Uh, filming set will not be the normal place, and I will probably try and make a video on what I'm taking when I figure out what I'm actually taking to the party. So, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, so obviously, uh, first we have the World Class uh, Super Magnum Ball Shells. Uh, these are the Super Magnum with Tail Shells, um, I think. Hold on. Huh. These don't say anything about with tail. Huh. That's interesting. These might be different shells entirely then from what I thought. Huh. Interesting. Well, nevertheless, so these are the Super Magnum Artillery Shells. Um, these are by World Class. There's a fiberglass tube in there. Uh, you can't really see it. Um, and the shells are a little disarrayed in the packaging, but that's because the packaging sucks. And they were able to fall out of place pretty easily. Um, now, moving on to the main bag of goodies here. Um, I was invited to a New Year's Eve party, so that's why there's a lot of smaller, cheaper stuff in here. Um, I started off with uh, two bundles of Morning Glories. Uh, one of these is obviously a lot newer than the other one is. I have no idea what brand these are, but they are two different brands, definitely. And they're two completely different ages as well. So we're going to see how that turns out. Um... Then, uh, shout out to one of the people in my Fireworks Discord, uh, Jeff Cone King, a world-class number four cone. I haven't had one of these cones in, oh, forever. It's probably been like eight or ten years since I last had a cone from world-class. So we'll see how that goes. Finally, got one of these Easy Street Cakes from, uh, Herbie's Fireworks. Um, this is a 16-shot repeater. It, it just shoots, uh, 16 shots of, uh, red and white. I think it might glitter or something, too, in the finale. Um, but this is a really cheap cake, $7.50 for 16 shots. Couldn't pass it up. Figured why not try it. At the very least, it's an aerial cake. So it'll be something interesting for the new year. Um, I was able to get their last or second to last pack of the Mega Banger Mighty Crackers. So I will try and upload a new firecracker comparison video with these included, as well as the Ghostbuster firecrackers that I have from Magnus. That means that there will be, let's see, one, two, three, four... Five, I think there will be a total of five different firecrackers in that comparison because I still have a bunch of uh, M5000 crackers left. So there will be a total of about five firecrackers in the 2020 comparison video. Um, I did decide to go on ahead and get a Mega Banger brand reflection fountain. They had like a thousand of these things and they dropped the price by $2. They were $7.50, now they're $5.50. So I figured why not? Um, some of you are going to cringe when you see this one. I uh, decided to go ahead and get a Galaxy Squad fountain by TNT. Uh, they have not changed the packaging on this fountain one bit, and I can't find a performance video anywhere. So we're going to see how this fountain performs in 2019 at the very least. Um, and I'm interested to see how that is. It's only seven bucks. You know, it's a classic TNT fountain. I know this one's been around for as long as time itself, I believe. So we'll see how that goes. And then lastly, uh, I got a little six pack of camel camellia flowers. I never have had any of these before. Uh, I've heard they're pretty much silent, so I might even go ahead and light one of these in a day or two just to see how they are before the party and decide if I want to take them or not. So all this stuff is my uh, pyro pickups for New Year's Eve as of December 29th. I doubt I'll have a stash video just because there really wasn't any significant additions um, and I really don't feel like taking everything out and making a display out of it. So don't expect one. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a happy New Year's Eve and a happy new year. See you guys in 2020.